Okay, so this is Egg Rocket second attempt. Uh, I'll just go over the rocket and what it's all built from. So I built the egg pod out of a toilet paper tube again, and this was a foam ball that I just carved into a cone. Now instead of making a separate egg pod that would uh, come out and have its own parachute, I decided to make it just one piece. So what I've done is I made the egg pod the actual uh, nose cone of the rocket as well. There you go, hope you can see that. Uh, so I'll go over how the egg pod works. So as you can see in there, I got some pink foam in there to uh, cushion the egg on the top. So I'm going to drop my egg in there. There we go. I've built this uh, pink foam end cap. So I'm going to shove that on there. There we go. I'm going to add, I'm gonna add probably a piece of tape or two over this to uh, make sure that doesn't fall off when it's coming to the ground. Um, now I had to do this. So the, I was having an issue with the parachute was getting caught up in here when I tried to pull it out because I was using that uh, this yellow this yellow broccoli elastic band again, but it was just too sticky and sticking to the parachute. And I also had to make sure the tape was all on the outside because the tape was also sticking to the parachute. So I uh, poked a hole through the rocket and stuck a section of the shock cord out here and then taped it around on the outside. That way there's very minimal on the inside, as you can see. Um, so hopefully that's enough to stop her from tangling up. Uh, something that is a little worrying too is how tightly I had to wrap my parachute to fit in here. Because this is a lot smaller of a hole than my clear rocket. So hopefully that also works out. I don't know, we'll find out again. I'll go over the rest of the stuff. Okay, this is... The fins are just recycled from my previous rockets. Uh, I just I do have them glued, but I also want to tape them just because this rocket body likes to uh, rip a little bit. The rocket body is made out of an old firework tube. Uh, I like it because it's nice and thick cardboard and hopefully won't melt or burst into flames. Uh, I've built smaller motor mounts and I hot glue them in place this time so that I can quickly change out the motors. And the motor lock is another coat hanger, which I've just taped on there. So. There is the rocket. I still have to attach the guide tube, but that takes two seconds. Yeah, I hope this one works out better than the last one. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> uh, where is the nose cone? Oh, in the field, that way. <laughs> Fail. Okay, rocket launched off, and the nose cone just ripped off with the egg in it. So we go the other way. We gotta, gotta, find, where, gotta go find where the uh, egg is. I found. Yeah. We found the tip. Okay, so the. Rope just ripped off. I guess I didn't have that taped on there very good. Okay, let's open it up see if the egg survived. <laughs> I don't think so. Just yeah. too much of a shock. All right. inside the... Attempt two is a fail. Damn. <laughs> okay, egg payload rocket part two was a fail. Again, and I can explain exactly why. This one was really easy to figure out. So, uh, I secured the uh, parachute shock cord through the body of the rocket, which worked really good and it's really strong. But for some reason, the uh, nose cone that also had the egg, I just decided to put this little piece of tape and tape it to this. So as soon as it shot off and the weight of the egg snapped on that, it just pulled the tape off and the egg plummeted to the ground and broke. And... This fell very nicely with the parachute. I still think my design here will work perfectly. I just have to uh, secure that better, and then I think the next launch, it should work perfect. Three, two, one. Oh, God.
Try, try one more time. Three, two, one. Damn! Good. I don't think it'll be the rockets, a dud. Oh! <laughs> okay, I better make sure it's off. Oh! And the old one's still in there? <laughs> That's so funny!